Hi there, I'm Miles Fisher from Highview, a Google Cloud partner. In this video, we're gonna take a first look at Gmail for work. Gmail, the service that's included as part of the G Suite business offering. Um, so we'll start with a quick overview of the Gmail interface, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at how Gmail looks on a mobile device. Let's get into it. Um, so let's get started with just a quick overview of the interface. I'm logged into my Google G Suite account. You can see Roger at centralcoastrealestateco.com. And let's start with just a quick tour of the Gmail interface. This interface was updated in June of, of 2018. So starting from the top left-hand side, you have the option to compose a new message. Keep in mind when you compose messages, you could use the um, diagonal arrows in the top right-hand corner to expand. Below the compose message window, you have inbox, start, snooze, sent outbox drafts and more. Under more is where you have additional options as well as the option for creating and managing labels. So we'll create one here called to do as soon as possible just to give you a quick example of how labels may work. Great, so to do as soon as possible, I'll give that a red color just like that. Excellent. Now for systems admins out there that are currently managing a hosted exchange or Office 365 environment and you're considering making the move to Google G Suite, labels work a little bit different from folders, but people can take items from their inbox and place them in labels um, just like they would a folder, as a heads up. Moving down to the bottom left-hand corner, you have Google Hangouts. This allows you to have instant message-like conversations with, with your colleagues here, just like that. Looking at several items in my inbox, as you select a specific note, you'll see an additional um, uh, command panel pops out with the option to archive a message, which simply takes an item out of your inbox, report spam, delete, mark an item as read, or snooze a message to return to your inbox at a later time. These last two buttons here allow you to work with your labels, and then you have some additional options here from that dropdown. Further to the right, you have your inbox arrows, scrolling through additional pages of your inbox, you have the option to view your inbox in a split screen mode, very akin to how users prefer to work in Outlook. Further to the right, you have this settings icon where you can go in and make changes such as adjusting your signature or turning conversation mode on and off, which is a big confusing point for people coming over from Outlook. And then on the far right hand side, you have quick access to Google Calendar, as well as Google Keep for note taking and Google Tasks. Um, to the top, you have the apps icon providing helpful shortcuts to other Google services and the search bar. So a couple comments on the search bar. Search is a very integral part of working effectively in Gmail. So as you consider making the switch to Google G Suite, you'll want to make sure you have training that covers information about using the search operators effectively that are shown here from the drop down menu. Great. So that's a quick first look at Gmail on the web. Let's go to a mobile device. So here is that same inbox pulled up on my mobile device. Uh, you'll see here um, the first email from Miles Hisher at the top matches the email that I had received on the web. I could click into this specific note. You'll see options at the top to archive, which again simply mean take out of my inbox, delete, and then mark as unread, for instance. Um, you also, from the drop down, could perform common tasks such as snoozing the message to a later time, as well as changing the label, um, muting that conversation, so on and so on and so forth. Um, going back here in the bottom right hand corner, you have the option to compose a new message, just like that. Top left hand corner, you access your account settings, so this will indicate which accounts you are logged into. There's a good chance you have a personal Google account. So the first time you log into your G Suite account, you'll want to open up the Gmail app, click Add Account. You can also manage your existing accounts from right here. Also from this dropdown, you can work with your labels. Uh, you'll see drill into your sent mail, uh, your all mail folder, or in this case, that to do as soon as possible label that we just created. You can also use this to quickly pull up your other applications such as Calendar um, and Contacts on Android. Contacts on iOS devices work a little bit different, um, uh, so contact us if you have questions about that. And of course, account settings. Great. 
So that's a quick first look at the Gmail interface uh, included within Google G Suite as of July 2018. Thank you.